But okay, so um, topic number two, uh, women that date mid mid ugly men only. Okay, so I brought this up because I am that woman who date uh mid mid ugly men, and throughout previous um previous episodes we had where other women as well they was like I understand you know I I, I clearly get it and uh wish Daniel was up here again because I, I want to know like uh do guys do that as well like do guys be like I don't want the baddest bitch like I don't want the girl with fat I don't want the prettiest girl I like because for me the reason why I date like mid ugly guys well uh first off let me break down Hi, sorry Mid mid ugly is more like to me. I don't I wouldn't converse with a and I guess this goes into the complexion thing. Like I don't want to deal with no light skinned Drake. I wouldn't deal with a Drake. Like just to give you a person, like I wouldn't deal with a Drake. Who else likes and with good hair? Um I just wouldn't deal with a Drake. Because Drake just killed with too many problems, you know. Like and the reason because he light skin or they a lot of people it's are just that he's attractive and what I'm a, so as far as when I say problems I mean like I have to be competitive with him like I always gotta upkeep shit not saying that I don't upkeep myself but it's just more work on me like I already got the kids got the, the businesses we got the house we got yeah. like it's just too much you know. Yeah. Not saying that I'm not gonna work for my man, I work for my relationship, I let myself go per se, but I just feel like it's just a lot of extra that goes into dealing with fine, handsome men. And I'm going uh, based off the stereotype, you know. Um, not saying that I wouldn't necessarily deal with a a, a lighter skin complexion guy, but I just I don't prefer it. Yeah. I prefer like nerds. I like cornballs. You know, got guys, guys that you would like overlook, you know. And I'm like, oh, he got a great personality. He's cute. Like he's still attractive, but he's just not, you know, like where mm -hmm. girls are lining up, you know. Well, that's, that's another thing you gotta deal with, like you said, like you got all these other things going on. Like not I feel like not that you don't want the person that you're talking to or your man or your woman to be attractive, but like if they're like freaking gorgeous. drop gorgeous. dead gorgeous yeah. and like sexy when I say sexy I mean when somebody look at you they thinking like ooh like he the one so so <laughs> give me like a male actor or actress or you know like Girl, I got it I got it for you let me tell you like I'm not I don't think I, I consciously think like okay let me just talk to a medium ugly guy it's just I think it just so happens like if I see somebody like and they're just like super attractive and everything is just in in place together i'm just kind of like eh, i don't know about that because like it was this one guy it was this one guy that tried to talk to me and he was like i mean his beard was just oh uh, he had a bald head like he was just he just looked fine and i was just like I don't know if that's so we <laughs> know, like, I need somebody that's a little now I wouldn't say not attractive. Crunchy, a little crunchy like, just, yeah, just something about them that may be off to other people. Like, you know, you look right. at certain people you're like, oh, you know, like I don't know, he look all right. Like right, I like right. the oddness in people's uh, you know, physical appearance. But y'all know um Franklin from Snowfall, Dancing Idris. Okay, he plays Fra is that he the plays main character? Yes, he plays Franklin on Snowfall. Okay. Oh okay. my gosh, like he's like to me, he's one of those people where well, to me, I think he looked good, like he looked <laughs> so good, but I feel like to other people, he may not be as attractive as like I mean, Michael B. Jordan is cool, but I really don't really think he's that all that. Now, when you're talking about him, you're talking about him real or his his character that he portrayed. No, I'm talking about real, real life, life. <laughs> okay, okay, so yeah, real life, like just how he looks is just so, like, you know. It just, I feel like, you know, uh, people might not, everybody may not just look at him and think uh, sexy is man alive. You know, like certain people you look yeah. at, you can see like, oh, okay, I can understand sex is man alive right. or people like falling over him. But like, I don't, I don't want it to be like, there's nothing wrong with it. You know, I feel like people want, you want to have somebody that's attractive. And I feel like for guys, right. they do want to have that. Like they want to have a female that other guys every other like guys them. want yep. yeah and i don't think i think for females that's really not the case like we don't want to have all. somebody that's 
super attractive and we know that everybody wants. But I feel like for guys, again, wish then you was here, but I feel like for guys, that's something that they want. They want to like step out and people want they want it. You know what I mean? Like, I right. mean, not just saying that women just, we just want ugly men. We just want somebody that's not attractive. Not, you know, that's not the case. But I feel like guys probably think of that more so than females do. Well, guys, that's that's watching. Um, <laughs> is that true? Like, do we make a good assessment that y'all do want attractive females? Like, you want a, a woman on your arm. You want your baby mama, your girlfriend, your wife, whoever. You want your homeboy to look at her and be like, man, when they yeah. break up, I'll fuck the shit. <laughs> yeah, my cousin KK said she do. She wants somebody that's attractive and that look good on her arm, just the same as she looked good on the kids, which, you know, she got her person. But, you know, like, that's, you know, I feel like certain people, like, not saying that it's all about looks, but, you know, they want to look good together. And I think you should look good together. I know that's right. Compliment. <laughs> you see what Karen said? She said. Yeah, she said, I feel like everybody want my man and I'm okay with that. Okay, honey. Yes. Yeah, like, I mean, that kind of make you feel like, it makes you feel a little good because you're like, I know people want my man or want my woman, but really, I mean, they can't have them because that person is we're together like that's my person type of thing right right so, i mean it, i feel like you know you can kind of if if you solidify like that if you know <laughs> this is your person and you know like you got them like you know that stuff wouldn't bother you just kind of like almost kind of like stroke your ego a little bit like yeah you know? like a trophy like because men um older men they consider what like a trophy wife or something like that where you know she just well put together and well well i think the trophy wife thing is like she don't really have nothing going on right her, yeah and, beautiful well i don't think that necessarily has to be a choice wife i think it's just anyone that you feel like you could show off right yeah yeah that looks good together like i mean you want some i mean i ain't really want i ain't want nobody now i ain't want nobody that yeah 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 I, yeah because when you was talking about that guy because I, I still have i'm behind like my cousin I, don't, I, I really don't want to admit this publicly but i know my cousin gonna be like i didn't told you to watch snowfall i'm gonna watch it but i ain't got into it yet but uh but oh my god i know y'all can't see but this is Oh yeah, I seen I seen it on the shade room because I didn't even know who he was. It was like maybe like a couple of days ago. He was dancing to like an African song or something like that. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. <laughs> but you know, let me tell you my person who pro who people would probably say, uh uh, Kofi. He's on Queen Sugar. Girl, please, skin. everybody be on him though. He uh uh. Listen, that is not no, so I was on him first before anybody. No, I was on him first. You know. <laughs> <laughs> well, nobody paid him no attention or whatever. Like, I was hashtagging him. So, if he clicked on his no, hashtag, saying, no, people have him. always thought that he was attractive, though. Like, he's not one of those people that's medium ugly, nothing. <laughs> but, you know, a lot of some women don't like dark skinned dudes, you know. So, I was like, I was hoping that would work for me, you know. I was like, okay, I, yeah. you know. But I, I'm I'm not really there with him no more because of his character. And that's another thing we can probably kind of talk about a little bit. Like, you associate real people with characters. Like, I don't like his character no more. And so he gets on my nerves, you know, that Ralph Angel uh character. Oh, he is. He is. He's fine. Yeah. <laughs> He's fine. But you know what? While we talking about this, this kind of like brings to my attention too. Like when I don't know, I feel kind of offended for other people, like when guys or like when people are in a relationship and they 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 call themselves like expression they expressing their appreciation for like their woman or whatever, and they'd be like, oh. You know, I might, she might not be the baddest, but she the realest or something like that. Like, I feel like that is a bad, that's a bad compliment. And I hate when guys say that. Like, why would you say she might not be the baddest, but she the realest? Like, that's a backhanded compliment. What you mean she might not be right. the baddest? Because you define what's bad to you. So if you feel yeah. like your woman is X, Y, Z, like she, she's beautiful, she's ambitious, she got things going on for herself, like that should be your definition of bad. So when you say I ain't got the baddest, like, by whose definition are you saying? Like, I hate when guys say that. What you mean? Like, you ain't got the baddest, but you got the realest. Like, what? That is a backhanded compliment. Yeah, yeah. I, I've seen those. I've seen those memes. Like, I've seen where uh, husbands and they be like, and we rolled out. We, we've been riding this uh, train for twelve years, and da da da. And I'm like, but it be going viral. If he, if he yeah. going viral because he'll post like you know how now they got the how how it started and how it's going type yeah. of um thing mm -hmm. you know um what happened is somebody coming in this what? hold on because I thought somebody was on 
Courtney, don't do that. Don't don't do that. But um, all right. So, Courtney, are you gonna come in and talk about your mid ugly? Like, what type of guys are you attracted to? Or, or just do your voice or whatever. Just. Oh my God, Courtney, come back here. <laughs> just talk about your men, your men ugly. Yeah, like, how you... I'm sorry, I'm looking at me on this this feedback. And I'm just don't like, look at it. Don't look at it. I don't need to be on here. Like, <laughs> I look sick. Okay. I look like a tree monster with me. Um, I don't think. I hate when people say that they go for medium ugly people. I don't like that. <laughs> I just don't. But it's true. But I mean, when you really think about it, everybody's medium ugly to somebody. There's somebody. True. I, I know somebody thinks I'm yeah. ugly as hell right now. But <laughs> some, I mean, people. There's someone's medium ugly to everybody. So like, right. I don't think I just I just don't like that. I look for medium ugly people. I think it's a horrible reason of why. Like, I guess maybe in a sense you don't want everybody who wants that person I guess that kind of makes sense but my thing is like what does that matter besides who the person that you with want yeah. so, I mean I mean I get what you're saying I I, I mean I mean it's medium ugly people certainly. cheat too everybody well, well I don't want to I was about to do it I was like everybody cheats you know <laughs> I mean I mean I can't I, I I feel that way I'm sorry I feel that way kind of everybody cheats just on in there certain facet the way you know you got your work husband you got your emotions you got your social ugh. i mean people but to me i just don't i just don't certain things can be avoided for example a guy <laughs> without a car like if you're dating and a, a guy without a car like you know you won't have to pick him up all the time like you the transportation thing is going to be a, a, a guy with a lot of with three kids and three baby mamas you know it's going to be some type of drama and then financially he's not going to be able to date or go places where you want to go all the time because you got to take care of his household and those other three like just certain things to me this is my logic this ain't written in stone this ain't in no bible this is just me i just feel like i can avoid certain situations by dating not so attractive guys like, i well, disagree with that statement because that same smitty ugly person can have three baby mamas and three kids that same they do. Some of them do. ugly person can exactly ugly or what you think other people would think is medium ugly and i think it's what that person feeds into because I, I feel like it's really not a problem if the person i mean whitney your, like your audio can you hear me yeah can you hear me good good now? Yes. Yeah, I was saying it's really not so much as about the person being attractive because a person can't help how they look. If they look good, they right. look good. Like if they're attractive, they're attractive. I feel like it, it becomes a problem um, when, you know, you have those certain people who kind of feed into that popularity and they feed into like getting that attention from other people. I feel like that's what I don't like. I don't like people who, they, they feed off people who kind of like, are into them because of their looks like they just I feel like they're probably like the word for it is like they're more vain about it like yeah you know you look good but you ain't gotta like be doing all that extra stuff to you know make people like pay attention to you more so I feel like when the other person feeds into it and I know you have that type of personality and that type of vibe it's just like I don't want that because again like what Ashley said it's gonna bring in some issues like this person you got this girl want to say this, this girl saying that, this person trying to make it seem like it's something that it's not. Like you have to deal with those type of things because that person, they enjoy that getting that attention. Even though they they may be with that person, they enjoy getting that other attention from other females or they enjoy getting that attention from other males. That's the part that I don't like. And it just so happens that you get those issues with people who are super, <laughs> super right. attractive. Yeah. And so like, I don't necessarily go for like the medium ugly guys i just feel like i just automatically i'm attracted to people that i don't know like appearance wise like automatically you might not look at them and just be like oh he fine but it's like when i look at them like that's what i see i don't i don't look at them and say oh he medium ugly but i just look at <laughs> right. them and know, like, that's just, I, I look at him i look at him and know that I look at them to know that he's attracted to me, but I also am, am conscious that other people may look at him and say, oh, he ain't that fine, or, you know, he don't look like that. It's just like, to I'm me, like, I see fine. Real? Okay. Yeah, exactly. Like, to me, I see fine. To you, you may see medium ugly. Like, you know, whatever that is. 
Yeah, and then like even behind the scenes, and I I get what both of you are saying. Um, I get what you're saying, Courtney, when you say, okay, well, the medium ugly guy, like he he does have kids and stuff. But honestly, if we all think about it, step take a step back. It really isn't the medium ugly guys that has the kids. It's the it's the medium ugly girls that got the kids with the dudes that got a lot of kids. And you know this because like it's one girl in particular that she got like a lot of kids, mm -hmm. like a lot of kids. And not, she's never been in a relationship like publicly with none of her baby daddies. So clearly that was like some on the low, some roach hours sneaking type stuff, Ooh, you know. Not roach hours. Roach hours. And I'm They're like, and I mean, she's a less attractive <laughs> female, you know, um, according to what a lot of guys say or whatever. But clearly somebody, like they sneaking over there, you know, they sneaking over there. So basically that was some real life proof of what Courtney was saying, like, there are less attractive people that still be getting it in, or, you know, somebody's attracted to them, if not for relationship purposes, for relations purposes, or whatnot. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I'm sure what that is, guys. Hello. What you got going on over there? What was I saying? All right, okay, so uh so that was the mid ugly uh courtney you're more on the however they look it's just how they look i'll talk to them if i'm gonna talk to them uh me and whitney kind of got a plan here uh for blocking bitches you know uh, <laughs> uh no you know um because even like on the little dating apps and stuff like when guys um their profile picture pop up i'm like oh, nope too fine Nope, I'm, like I started one with before, because I can afford. All right, so topic number three: Should cartoon characters be canceled? And the reason why this came up is 